or just crushing pressure, which is what we've seen quite a bit of from Jonatas. Uh, I would not be surprised by that one. <laughs> Sebastian, though, with the quickness opening up. It seems like Jonatas is having a... He's walking kind of gingerly on that knee. Did you see him limp back just now? I didn't notice, but I'll keep an eye out. Sebastian sits the guard and quickly does not want to test himself against the powerful wrestling of Jonatas Gracie. Keep an eye on that right underhook of Jonatas. He's going to be squeezing quite often with his arm around the hips. Sebastian Rodriguez, he does that very, very well. It opens up head control passes, guillotine passes. Or even just a crushing body lock like you see him go for right there. Jonas is keeping his left hand on the wrist of Sebastian Rodriguez. Pummeling his leg inside. Oh, a big elevation of Sebastian. Yeah, great response from John Tessa. Cartwheel over, roll with the momentum. interesting. Jonatas is really insistent on this left hand killing the whole arm of Sebastian Rodriguez. Okay, the death grip has been released. Sebastian has achieved double unders, at least for the moment there. And the death grip is back <laughs> on the other side now. <laughs> it's working though, it really is. Neutralizing Sebastian, probably very awkward for him. It's not something you encounter every round. Well now you see Sebastian having the opening that he looks like he wanted. Every time uh, Sebastian is able to use both of his hands, he's really opening up a lot. But Jonatas really just leaning that left hip in very heavy and keeping his hand on the wrist of Sebastian Rodriguez. Now you see Sebastian hip escaping away. It's a very interesting but effective game plan out of Jonatas Gracie here. Now you see Sebastian Rodriguez going for a bit of false reap himself. Jonatas keeping that left arm underhook in there. Sebastian trying to peel the face of Jonatas away with his own foot. It's a phrase you don't hear in many places, I will say. False reap looking to start working here for Sebastian, but Jonatas kicks out. Spent a lot of time with Diego Pato, can you, really you can see a heavy limp out of Jonatas Gracie on that right knee. Well, he certainly found a way to enact his game working around that. And he does find himself here in the final of the medium heavyweight division. Sebastian is, though, having some luck elevating Jonatas Gracie. I just wonder if that's perhaps one of the reasons Jonatas is not being as mobile. If, you, if that's the, the reasoning behind his game plan being very knee-based is because he's compromised in that one leg. Which may be one of the reasons why he's spending so much time isolating one hand to make it harder for Sebastian to get under his leg.
Oh, and it looks like Sebastian's collected that leg. Going out for a straight footlock. This could be trouble for Jonatas Gracie here. The heel is slipping out. It's turning into an, a an, a an Aoki lock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty clear now. Jonatas Gracie is not operating with a fully, fully functional right knee. Adjusting his brace. You wonder if Sebastian Rodriguez smells a bit of blood in the water. You see, Jonathan's definitely had a very intense reaction to Sebastian getting under that leg. Now you see a little more elevation out of Sebastian already. Oh, but Jonathan's crazy now. But look at the power. Sebastian able to get under the leg once again, and now he's under the other one. And now he may look to wrestle up. Let's see if he can kick out here and maintain top position. Johnson's Gracie. Johnson's Gracie has a sneaky knee bar, by the way. Now you see Sebastian Rodriguez with two points. Oh, oh John is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and Sebastian Rodriguez going for the buggy choke. It's a little shallow, though. It's a little shallow. Jonathan's crazy. Trains with the Rotolos. You know he's seen the buggy once or twice. That's very true, Chase. And now he looks like to be chasing the back. Look at, look at the face of Jonathan's crazy. He's fired up. Only one point separates these two, though. So Jonathan's Gracie not out of the woods. But the dynamic has changed, where he may have been chasing Sebastian in the 0-0 scenario. Now Sebastian has to come after him, and his conservative play may work in his favor, and clearly in a lot of pain there with his knee. A lot of heart, a lot of grit from Jonathan's Gracie right now to not just be competing, but to be winning at this point. In Absolutely. The final. And you know what? In his mind, just three minutes and 13 more seconds to maintain this lead, and he'll be an IBJJF Nogi world champion. And to be able to do that with a knee injury, diving in for passes like this one, speaks to the heart of Jonathan's Gracie here. Nothing like going ahead on the scorecard to get you a little more motivated to power out those last few minutes. And he is continually coming forward. Sebastian Rodriguez with a, with a deep underhook on his left arm. Possibly trying to make some butterfly guard action happen. Oh, now working to get under the leg. Heavy sprawl by Jonathan Gracie here. Sebastian Rodriguez really trying to get underneath that leg. It's really it's a dorsiflexion of Jonathan Gracie's foot that's preventing that. See it right there with the right foot. That hook is what's keeping Sebastian Rodriguez from getting underneath that leg. Well, a little bit of a guillotine attempt here for Sebastian Rodriguez. Oh, but double underhook for Jonatas Gracie. He is close to passing the guard once again, Chase. Sebastian, a really defensive position here. Moving into almost a turtle scenario, but Johnson's Gracie in a really powerful position here. He's got both of his arms wrapped around the leg of Jonathan's Gracie. And now his knee wrapped around. One minute left. So 
Sebastian Rodriguez trying to get back to a guard position. Finding his way back to guard. Sebastian Rodriguez has 33 seconds chase to get two points. John is Gracie, I think. He's weathered the storm here. Man, he's fighting that knee. It's hard to say, Chase, but the correct option here, I mean, what is it? Do you wrestle up against the strength of Jonathan Gracie? Seems like that's the idea Sebastian Rodriguez might be going for, but with five, four seconds left, it's going to be too little too late. Jonathan Gracie is your 2022 IBJJF Nogi World Champion. But congratulations to Jonathan Gracie. Jonathan Gracie, representing Atos Jiu-Jitsu. Gracie, even with the injured leg. You see the great sportsmanship out of Sebastian Rodriguez.